Uh, my name is Kayla Serrano, and I'm here on behalf of Constituents Advisory Committee and Voices of Homelessness with the Rhode Island Coalition and Homelessness. And I wrote it down so I won't take all day because when passion <laughs> sets in, I start talking. So <laughs> good evening, Chair and Committee members. My name is Kayla Serrano, and today I'm here before you in support of Article 5, Question 3. But I urge you all to raise the proposal amount in Article 5, Question 3 to $150 million. This additional funding is essential to address the pressing issue of low to no income housing and the quality and consistent supportive services in our community. <coughs> Excuse me. As of February 1st, 2024, there are 539 constituents who are unhoused. In January of this same year, 76 of those households with, are with children have entered Rhode Island's homeless service system, the coordinated entry system, for the first time due to the limited options available to them. This crisis has disappropriately affected our communities, particularly those who are most vulnerable or have severe challenges to housing. It is important that the General Assembly approves the housing bond and assure, ensures that the funds are allocated explicitly to meet the urgent needs for creating and pres uh, preserving low and moderate income housing. For context, when I speak of low income, I'm referring to adjusting the um, AMI area medium income for rentals to 80% and up to 120 for home ownership. Housing is a fundamental human right, yet the current situation in our state po paints a grim picture that hope is not in reach. Rhode Island ranks last in addressing this crisis and it is evident that the existing relief efforts are not inclusive or equitable for those that are most in dire need. We must take action to combat this crisis and provide a safe and stable environment for all members of our community, not just who we choose or believe should have housing. I urge you to approve the increasing funding and ensure that all is directed towards creating sustainable solutions for those who are most vulnerable while utilizing agencies and partners with innovative approaches backed by evidence of low recidivism rates. Together, we can make the difference and ensure that every individual in the state of Rhode Island has access to safe, safe affordable, and equitable house with a sense of agency for their own personal constituent. Thank you.